being the same size as the Seven Dwarfs, which one do you think you closely resemble? <laughs> I was going to say wanking. My wrong notebook's actually. It's a very mm. good story. Calf yeah. races till a day. I was going to say wanking. <laughs> This is going to be a bit of a new segment we're running here, so it is, I've decided to call this the very cheesy straight up smack talk. So it's a bit of some more pressing questions and some things people might take a bit of offence to, but we'll see how they go. I've written some of them and I've had <laughs> people throw in random stuff, so uh, you'll be good for this because it's only a wee bit of crack, like, so we'll yeah, see how it goes. No matter. Fire and away. we'll start off pretty late. So first question, this is actually sent in by somebody, was if you were to do any sort of Olympic sport, not weightlifting, what would you do? Fuck, I was going to say wanking. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to do any sort of Olympic sport but not thing, oh Jesus, it'd probably have to be like the fucking... I was going to say... What would you say I, I not, I'll let you answer first because I think I, I no know what way. I'm putting you in. You're going to say so. I'm trying to figure out, like it's not going to be something where you're tall, it's going to be something where you're small. Maybe breaststroke or something, you didn't think that. No, I was going to say like shot put or something. I knew you were going to say shot put, that's why I changed my mind. We stop him on spinning yeah, around like... I didn't pick that because nobody that does shot put is like somebody you want to be. No. You don't look like that. It's always like Russian like Igor Grankov or something yeah, like that. Like Hilda from Germany that's yeah. 115 kilos. And she has a better beard than both of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking too light. Right? It's a fairly easy one again. If you could relocate anywhere in the world, where would you go to? I actually got asked this in my Q&A earlier. See, the thing is, I actually can. Oh, gee, it's so easy. You could, you could go somewhere every week if you wanted to. Yeah, technically. The first place I want to relocate, I was supposed to go, actually, mm -hmm. whenever it, like it was ending, I was supposed to actually go towards Oz, and I know that's so like standard Australia. I wasn't going to live there for life. Relocate in general, just sun sun is what I'm about. So I think, honestly, towards there, or California mm -hmm. is where I'm where I'm thinking of like moving for like three to six months. I... I've I think you might be the same as me. I've always had an obsession with America. I always see myself end up in America, not California, because I've listened to too many YouTubers talk about state taxes and stuff like that. No, but yeah, no. Texas maybe or somewhere like that. Like, see, I've done the East Coast, so I would mm -hmm. love to do the West. But like, I, if you talk about relocate to live, yeah, like I would even be happy like down the very bottom of Ireland, you know, where it's a wee bit sunnier. I don't mm -hmm. need I don't need like mad luxury or yeah. anything, or even Australia would be fine. It's just somewhere where there's a bit of sun. But like. I can technically relocate and the way I answered that question was like where was the first place I was going to book a flight to it was one of them two and mm -hmm. I was supposed to go to Australia in a month or two haven't booked a flight I was gone and then COVID obviously shit all the world thing so that's roughly what I would think and mm -hmm. I, I, America's just a different way of life I, th I, mean? I think I would really because I love spare time and doing nothing you know, just scrolling through podcasts and doing nothing like I'm so good at it I would really I would do well off the hustle and bustle not of a New York but something a wee bit more up because here it is dead on speed I so. didn't like New York like I loved being in it for I think I was in it for two weeks mm -hmm. and like I lived in like a wee house with like Aiden and all and like I loved it but at the same time you get a real sort of like big city and like not anxiety but like a real like oh my life is like literally not and whereas I think whenever you're from like a small town you feel like a big shot almost yeah. I know that sounds like an hour, hour show no, 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 definitely I feel like you, you matter more in a, mm -hmm. in a sense because people know you roughly whereas you walk around New York and nobody's ever gonna not even that if I went missing from New York everyone, not missing but if I relocated people would be like fuck your man's away you yeah. people know this and that's just me like no I know what you mean there it's a wee bit of a weird one but yeah if you were this is a terrible question and I don't know why I even wrote it down if you were to perform one exercise forever what would it be for, like as in like just this is your stop no just as the only exercise you can ever do for the rest of your life oh fuck <laughs> uh, most bang for the buck something mental like crossfit no, style no no fuck I would do something that's gonna make me look good don't <laughs> I'd probably go, I'd probably go like a, a like a cable that or raise just everything something I'd, that does as much as possible more so for the fact like as long as your shoulders stay in shape you always look all right whereas mm -hmm. I think if if you pick biceps or triceps whereas like it I looks think, silly. that sounds like such that's such a weird quick but yeah <laughs> if I was gonna pick one exercise I'd probably pick a cable because it would it would keep shoulders right and I think that makes people look far better mm -hmm. these questions calf your, races till a day your favorite movie. If you were to pick one, don't need your exact Ooh. one, but if you could spitball a few answers, because I always can yeah, judge a good character. Yeah, spitball a few. Like, if you pick this, like, this just rhymes, and people are going to go, that's typical. Like, Hercules is such a fucking classic Disney movie. Really? Love it. I uh, don't actually think I've watched it. I know I have, not have. Oh, uh, crack, and go the distance theme tune. If you follow, like, if you listen to my gym playlist on Spotify, mm -hmm. like, one of the songs is Go the Distance it's a fucking Hercules song and the thing is people message me and go lad this isn't supposed to be in here I don't think and I go nah like, man oh, it is. That, that was number one for a reason but that's always the one that springs to mind because I used to always watch that when I was sick mm -hmm. even like five six years ago and I, I always still get a laugh from it yeah. like, it's real it brings me back to, to young and then apart from that you're like it's hard to know like, it, like there's different genres and stuff mm -hmm. like it's it's it, that's the one that always comes to mind so I always roll with that whenever people ask mm -hmm. me that and the first thing they go is Disney lad and I'm like I fucking love Disney yeah quality it's because it's it's not like too serious like i watched the lion king last night the new one mm -hmm. it was all right but a case of like 
I love the fact that I actually get like a childish giggle out of it. Yeah, yeah. And it's I, so, my favorite movie of all time is Madagascar animation movie. I is it? Love, I haven't watched that in years. I, every single one of them. Do not miss one, two, and three. Normally the tailor off. I love them. Is there, like, I didn't know there's a two and three. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Oh, the sec. It's the second one. The second one is. Oh, I love it. Like that's fucking. But uh, do you know what it is? It's people underrate. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I love stuff like Armageddon and the Notebook and all. Don't get me wrong. Notebook's actually it's a very mm. good story for any lad that hasn't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. Like even new movies and all are great. Like, and I love all Marvel stuff. Like, I fucking. I've never watched. One. You see, it's a it's a love or a hate thing. Yeah. I cream macaques over Marvel, so yeah. like that would probably be my close second. But you're seeing it's all in like that, like fat not. Fa- fantasy of like superhero genre yeah that's not, sort of where I would fall mm-hmm. because I don't would know would you be a big horror movie person no I, I despise I would, whenever I went up to university the first night boys put on a horror movie because I'm out of bed not watching it I, 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 I sweat a lot like, but like I'm the person like I'm the perfect person to watch it with. Do you know whenever people watch it to see somebody like it's funny yeah you're laughing at them I'm squirmy a lot so I don't cope a lot I watched It do you know the clown one yeah I have never been the same since no I mean you watch- I will walk to the car and hear the music play it. I've never, and it's not even that I'm no, fucking not another me. person. I despise him. I don't, don't do anything for me. I think the last one I've seen is like Sinister or something. It's mm-hmm. or maybe it's in, it's the one where they're all hanging at the back or something, and it's like it just was like for me it was just like Jesus, this was intense. Line. I was yeah. like, fuck, where's the Disney at? Yeah, I just, like <laughs> where's where's Toy Story? But yeah, I don't know. That's just childhood probably do you know yeah. what I mean also this comfort. next question ties in well it's another one I've actually stolen this from our podcast list, but I love the question if you could take any animal in the animal kingdom and shrink it down to the size of this book nice and small what would it be the size of your Lola no way what would it be uh, that's a class question I think I don't know I don't know if I'd want a wee land like do you know like, so, so that's standard answer do you know mm-hmm. what I mean like I'm thinking Joe you know, would, would be cool but I think I would, it would heartbreak me the first thing that came to mind was a giraffe but I think like it would break its legs and its neck and all too easy <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean it'd be, like, too, t- it'd be too fragile like. yeah like so <laughs> like, I think if you punch a giraffe in the neck or something like it breaks its neck because there's like loads of wee bones yeah. so like if it was that size it would break so easy so I'd be very very yeah. scared of that I would say like like lands like a typical answer do you know what I mean I don't like that but mm-hmm. that's sort of like the normal you have to get something dangerous I think so well I don't think you do but I think it'd just be I think like my answer for this could be a shark in an aquarium like we mini cool shark. shark like yeah I'm sure you can but get you sure something you get like small sharks no yeah. you need something massive actually I'll take that back like, you, I would want something like a mini elephant do you know that's like just yeah like that like <laughs> that's pretty much perfect like that size and all like do you know where it's like but see if it's that size, like well, the size that's nice because you won't step mm-hmm. on him. That there, you kill him. Oh, I, yeah, like our dog is like a wee mini lion or something though. But that's probably why. But yeah, no, something I would stick with. I'd probably go elephant because I think it's a wee bit different. Do you know, yeah. lion, lion's typical answer. Not much maintenance be hurt. on an elephant either. Like it'll just. What would you around. go? Would you go mini shark? Actually, no, I don't think I would because whenever we were in Thailand, uh, we actually swam with sharks, and he was like, "You swim with sharks," and they're all like, "This is like." <sighs> we actually seen one that was six foot, which is pretty fucking class no not for me like. but they're all there's nothing dangerous like they're all like we bitch reef sharks like they're all terrified of you like. I wouldn't be cool with that like. that was class so these ones are my ones so these are my straight up smack talk questions which hopefully you don't, <laughs> throw, the, you don't throw the water at me and I'm not sure if this one's still true or not or if it's, this is you I'm pretty sure it is when you shopping for shoes do you still buy kid sizes me no like I'm, what is kid size under 6 under 6 what size are you I'm about 6 or 7 it depends <laughs> Do you know why my shoe size is actually so small? It used to be an eight, and this is me joking. And do you know what I used to do? I used to always, like, get... I would always hate when shoes were big because I always used to have, like, loads of problems with about my feet. Mm-hmm. Like, I would always get, like, loads of blisters and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I would always buy really small. Mm-hmm. Like, as tight as I could get. So whenever I was an eight, I used to buy sevens. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, and no yeah. joke, see if I was to... Like, I usually wear flip-flops quite a lot now and uh-huh. Vibrams. And no joke, see if you look at my feet the big toe separate see all these ones are actually quite crushed up and it's uh, from wearing tight shoes so yeah. now I fit in like sevens sevens probably my size and then I always buy sixes because I wear flip flops and I wear vibrams so there's no socks so I, I have to go that small I generally wish I was kid sizes shoes are half price for no reason see I fit into women's sizes so it's they're hard. cheaper they're, they're cheaper yeah do they fit the same yeah, exact same. Don't matter. People I thought like, the insole was different on that. What's so you taking insole out? No, my Air Forces are like women. Like I think I was in the outlet like three or four months ago, like the Nike outlet, and like my shoes and men's were like sixty five quid for a pair of, or seventy quid for a brand new white Air Forces. Same size, same shoe, and the women's forty five. So I was like, I'll just take. You're the quite into your shoes. Are you, are you into shoes in terms of you know the names and stuff and like drops and stuff? Yeah, no. No, like I would have been in the shoes, and do you know what I've sort of fell into, and it's sort of like a fucking happy sort of thing now. Is like I'm really like the reason I put on shoes today is probably the first day and like. I'd say two months where I wore a pair of proper shoes. Mm-hmm. Like I went out for coffee this morning, wore my Vibram. So for anybody that doesn't know, they're like your your bare foot, where you, they're like gloves on your feet. Yeah, 
are disgusting. Uh, yeah, people don't like that. I actually think I would like it, Per, but I think they would just too much be like, it was Cobby and Tony. I was like, well, obviously. They smell a wee bit. Do they? They do smell. You have to wash. That's why I have two pairs. But they just go in the wash like a pair of socks. Oh, they're handy. Is, then. Yeah. So I would wear them or wear flip flops whenever they're both in the wash. But the thing is, because I honestly far prefer my. It sounds real like heavy. I love feet on the ground. Best investment I ever made was them slides. Yeah, they're all great the time, job. like amazing. And I would have lo- socks and slides. I would have laughed you out of the house, like, but unreal. But that's why, like, for example, you'll see me in a photo with like these snakes on, like, uh, like two months ago, and mm-hmm. they're still the same clean. And that's not because you don't wear them. bingo, I don't wear <laughs> shoes, so they keep. So like my white air forces are white because I don't wear them. Yeah. Wear flip flops and vibrams, and people will be like, vibrams are class for working out, and then flip flops in general. I just, mm-hmm. I just for Robert because I, I always t- I don't like being too. I'm a bit of a weirdo with I'm stuff the same like that. I'd rather be I'd rather be too cold and too warm like Bingo because I get very sweaty and warm and I don't know, I, like it's not to like people think, Oh, you're wearing vibrance for a tent. It's not like that. It's just because my feet's always been crammed, so seeing mm-hmm. now that they're spread, seeing where I put them back into my normal shoes now, like I feel them after a while. It's not yeah. nice, it's not it's like if, if you wear shoes all your life and then go barefoot for a month, it feels weird. Whereas since I've been barefoot for ages now, mm-hmm. it feels weird putting on shoes. Like for example, my transition to from shoes to vibrams was Whenever I went from, I was still working on the beaches in the fire service, mm-hmm. and the only th- shoes that I would wear would be my steel toe cap boots and work, and then I would wear Vibrams down and drive in them. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, I was always barefoot apart from when I got a fire call. Oh right, okay. So then, uh, see me making the transition from like them sort of shoes mm-hmm. in the normal, sh- it always killed me. So I don't know why. It wasn't worth it, like. No yeah. strange story, but no, not baby sizes yet. But soon, maybe if I crush them <laughs> enough, I'll get into that cheaper pair. I'm just skin. <laughs> Being the same size as the seven dwarfs, which one do you think you closely resemble? Oh, eh, <laughs> what are the seven dwarfs? There's bashful. There's grumpy. There's mate. You're Ro- gonna... Roidy. <laughs> Roidy. <laughs> who is there? Like, do you even know? I don't actually don't know. But if you give yourself a wee seven dwarfs name, what do you think you would? Who who would you be oh. like? Stumpy. Yeah, like a wood. I don't think Stumpy is one. I'm trying to figure out. Like, I'm trying to like it. That's like trying to sum your your personality up. Yeah. Like, and the first word whenever somebody says about me now, like I always lean towards like confidence. But you can't be. That's. I was literally about to say the word confidence. That's so weird. Yeah. So it would have to be something along. It's it it's annoying because I was never confident. And now mm. I think it's just like part of it because people assume if you're talking on camera it makes you confident well, people just assume if you say you're confident you're an arsehole but because like, not not being confident like confident and arrogance are two different things yeah. and like it's the way i even said it there it's not like confident don't yeah. hear I that i'm so confident yeah it's almost like a fake thing it's more so just that people always ask me like oh how are you so confident camera mm-hmm. and it, it literally is just practice putting yourself out there like it's like whenever you ask me about this the first thing i said to you wasn't show me the questions let me rehearse yeah. it was just wing it and then over time you almost build faith in that like if I got interviewed by somebody I wouldn't be like I need to see everything it, it yeah. makes you more prepared because you're not going to get a rehearsal and now you get a better answer if you yeah way better I else. would say confidence but if you wanted like a funny one Stumpy probably Stumpy. yeah I think Stumpy's realistic because I'd probably be the smaller out of them yeah and the wider <laughs> do you know what I mean like is it Mr. Strong doing the, the, the cup what do you call that uh, doing the not what are the, the Mr. Man Mr. Man yeah yeah I'd be like Mr. Strong but in uh, the, the Stumpy <laughs> doing like that sort of shape Mr. Wade. Yeah, because he's like a square <laughs> block. That'd be me, probably. Yeah. Well, you're probably best out of the Mr. Man series then. And yeah, <laughs> well, I could be that shape in there. Fuck people, are going to be like, what's going on? I, I was going to I'd be noodly on man. Just, that's, oh, yeah. you'd be there. Be, yeah, yeah, Mr. Man, that would be you. <laughs> that, that 100%. Who'd you be out of Seven Dwarves? You'd be grumpy, I'm would you? I'm way too tall to be a Seven Dwarf. Catch stuff. So what would you be, Snow White? Uh, I don't know anybody else in the story. I don't know what the man's called or anything. I haven't watched that I'm one. I'm nowhere near haunts enough to be a prince. Like. No, I'll uh, <laughs> 100% not. Like, I'm too great to be a prince. No, I was going to say, I don't know what you'd be, but... We'll... We wicked witch. Yeah, we'll go her. Yeah, no. Be pure no evil, like, taken from you. <laughs> <laughs> Using you. And this will do, this is the final one, and I know your counterpart in your podcast is going to love this one. Oh, if fuck. you could have one cosmetic surgery procedure, all expenses carried out, what would it be, and why would it be calf implants? <laughs> why do people say, I had an answer there lined up in my head. I actually think my calf's all right, lad. I'm like... only joking with you, there. 10 out of 6 might never be thank you very much <laughs> that's probably the first do you know what uh, that's uh, not saying much by the way Mickey said this the other week to me he was like your calves are definitely small and the first thing I done was I was like right so like people don't realise this but like in shows to get you lined up like is it a, like asymmetric or symmetrical mm-hmm. like they want you literally 50-50 so like it doesn't look well if one arm's bigger than the other but your arms and neck should match your calf size oh really for, what they're looking for not, they're not going to measure it but it helps mm-hmm. it helps look 
in purport- that's what an old sort of school rule was mm-hmm. I don't think it's too big now more so now it's more so about how big are your arms mm-hmm. that's really it but way back they would have looked at like, like measuring stuff like that but I know like my calves are the same size as my arms if not like a wee bit bigger yeah. so I'm like fuck my arms are pretty big but it's just because my calves I don't know whatever, what it is it must be my height or something but it's clearly good <laughs> I would say I know Mickey rips the fuck out of me all the time and it. I actually think my legs are alright they're not great by any means they're definitely are they like body parts? They're not my For best. For bodybuilder spec, they're definitely they're, not better than average. Like you they're, know? they're better than average, but they're they're. If you look at like the reason they're not unreal is because like if you look at, like at the block I'm doing of training now, mm-hmm. like it's it's focused on my weak points. What I'm going to get marked on if I ever go back to stage, mm-hmm. which is uh, my training splits. Literally, this delt and arms, full body push, mm-hmm. delts and arms off, full body pull delts and arms off that repeat okay. so I'm not even doing a leg day it's 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 hamstrings with pull and quads with push but it's mm-hmm. 10 sets over the two days but the thing is if I want to focus on legs I would need to be doing two leg days a week minimum of yeah. like proper full body but the thing is because if I ever go on stage I'm probably going to be in board shorts I'm not going to get marked on legs mm-hmm. spending time building them to obscene levels it's is not technically working. not smart because yeah. it's not priority because mm-hmm. I'm not going to get marked on now that doesn't mean I don't train them but it just doesn't work out as beneficial for me do you have any goals for competitions or competing, or it's what? A, it, do you have? This is something I always wanted. Do you have any sort of end goal for fitness? I think I've asked you this before in your Q and A or something. But like, do you have? Yeah, is there an sure. ultimate size or a something? Like, what is enough? Like, just double doors everywhere this, is what I need. It's I ain't gonna have to put you out through the end doors. <laughs> slide me out. Do you know what it is? I think it's because there is no real like my dream physique isn't like people like probably think I want to be a body bodybuilder now mm. like mass. I don't because I'm not. I wouldn't go down that. that like the gear and all of that is disgusting. Joe, you know, it's just. I think there's no way to do it without getting yourself down some messy hole. Like no, like you're talking whenever you're going down like professional bodybuilder route. If you're gonna go bodybuilder and you're gonna go into the gear and you're gonna go into you're going in whole hog. Don't be going in half hours because you're still gonna get negative impacts. Mm-hmm. It depends what way you want to go. But like you're talking about, like you'll start with roids, but you'll move on to like insulin and growth hormone, and then you're looking at like blood pressure tablets. You're looking at stuff that's gonna fuck with you long term, which yeah. is fa- which is a completely decision you have to make do you know what I mean but for me I don't want to go down bodybuilding I want to be that sort of luck where people like not not people but myself go like fuck I never thought I'd be here like I didn't think I'd ever get to the size I am now I'm mm-hmm. not even like mad but the thing is like I'm 13 stone now I was 14 four like like three months ago like I was very big like I didn't fit in most of my clothes but I loved it like mm-hmm. loved the look most people didn't because they had a wee bit of weight on but like in terms of like an end goal will I do a show again it probably is in the cards like down mm-hmm. the line but it's just picking out like I don't want to do a show that's like low profile and like there's not really much point in doing it. If, if I'm doing a show, I want it to be where I'm going, this is a big one. Yeah. This is going to get me seen. This is going to be good. And this is really going to show me where I line up because anything I've done before is all fucking Mickey Mouse. It's not real. And mm-hmm. I don't like saying this because every person that competes that listens to this will fucking hate me. It is it, 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 You do it for the the love of it and the challenge you don't do it for the wee, tra- the wee plastic trophy that's not mm-hmm. what it's about but the thing is people hate when you call it a wee plastic trophy but that's usually what it is and it, that's the same reason like if you go to somebody like why do you do uh, 5k's and 10k's and get time because they enjoy it they don't do it just for the trophy do you feel like you're just competing against yourself at this stage then is that what it for, is for me personally yourself, that. Just... and then I also look at it like I have to walk the walk now I can't just talk it because the thing is it, are you going to go to me if you're way way bigger than me probably yeah. not if you're a dude Mm-hmm. It might not matter if you're female, but if you want to be, do, you want to do shows, you want to do photo shoots, you want to, you're gonna think right. Getting lean, most coaches can do, but mm-hmm. getting to a really big size is really consistent over years, and that's probably the one thing where I see people can't do. Yeah, they can't gain. Like you see people year on year, and they're good shape. Now you'll see it with county footballers. You'll see it every. They're in good shape, but like over the last like four years, if you see me year on year, there's a really solid difference every mm-hmm. year. And if you can keep that up, you soon start to go to where people are like he's a freak he was yeah. born like that and that's sort of where i need to go because people aren't going to come to me otherwise and it's sort of all built around my career now rather mm-hmm. than just that it's sort of like proof in the pudding and I, if you're not in the trenches with your thing like it's like coaches who are in bad shape mm-hmm. doesn't make sense to me no yeah you can't be influenced on other people when you're sitting there fucking eating like a yeah. fat cunt and leaking out of your jeans like even people who've been in great shape and aren't now i'm like there's no reason for you not to be and you you're showing that you, the way you've you've been taught it isn't sustainable Mm-hmm. whereas like I still love the gym like I love my pumps and I love not having to almost focus on timeline but for you to get out of shape something really really badly would need to come off the rails for quite some period of time now it's because of the way I coach people and even myself like if you look at like my ones like got a Chinese last night and this mm-hmm. isn't like oh I'm restricting myself like I'm on like 3,000 odd calories which is quite low for me but the thing is like 
I just generally didn't want it because my habits, the way they're built, like my coach is one meal. Like I had this discussion with him on FaceTime the other day, and like he is one meal off a week for me. I sh- not that I struggle with that, and that's an unhealthy food relationship. But a case of like I was like to him, like do I need to have that? Like mm. I was like I can do it without that, and then have it the odd time. And he mm. was like, no, that needs to happen. And the thing is, I was like, but I don't really crave anything. And he was like, that that's that's all right. But he was like at mm-hmm. the same time, that's not great either. Shows you that I've almost ingrained the habits that much. Yeah, it's, you don't need a Chinese every week. Like it's just something no, that you no, just, no. It, it's a trait you've learned. It's 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 one of them things where it's like, I don't know. I think as you said, I would need to really really go off. Like I dislocated my shoulder and like my training was always okay. And I always think you need a dip before you go up. And like I dislocated my shoulder in America in like twenty seventeen. Mm-hmm. And like the doctor out there was like, it's fucked. And he was like, it's literally fucked. And when I came back, like three physios told me like you'll not dumbbell press above your head again. Like it's absolutely wrecked. Huh. Like I came out of the joint and I popped it back in myself with Tommy. <laughs> We popped it in the boat. <laughs> Did you know what you were doing or just... We had a rough out? idea because we were taught like in beaches but yeah. like, we'd never done it. Yeah. We were like, we'll give this a go because I was in that much pain <laughs> and when he'd done it at the time I felt great and like I'd, I'd done it jumping for like a, a swing on like a on a boat and I like, fell and my arm popped out and then Tommy popped it back oh. in with me. You know what, like the way you pop an arm is you put it in the desk Yeah. and then you wrench and it popped I'll try back. this at home but yeah. Yeah and uh, it popped in like fine but they said how rough i done it in the mri because i got an mri scan done in america it's three g's not nice just paid uh, yeah and then the insurance company finally paid it back like six months ago you're ju- 2017 this happened yeah fuck it took years for me to get the money back i had to pay like 1500 pound excess and then i paid they paid the over 1500 in the spot and i think they only gave me the over 1500 back from the insurance like six months i totally forgot about it because yeah. I, like, I just got this check and i was like unreal you know but uh but I got told it never. And then see, since that sort of dip of like, it re- made me realize like I hadn't really been putting it in as much as I should. And then over the last three years, I would say is really when I went like, no, I'm going to go full hog here mm-hmm. and go haul in. And that's really when everything sort of went better, if that makes yeah. sense. I know that's off topic. I don't even know. Uh, yeah, I've actually, that was my last question. So yeah, that'll do it. That was just a wee quick, well, it was meant to be quick, but we've rambled on Probably again. 20 minutes, sorry. Yeah. So that was just a wee straight up smack talk. Yeah. Sure that the questions are good. You're better keeping them rough as fuck. Yeah, you are. No, because I think, again, I keep like saying The dwarf it, like, question was probably the best one. Yeah, you just, I actually, you know what, I actually ran that past my mum and she nearly was in tears. My mum hates, my mum doesn't find things funny that I say. Like, she really doesn't like right. humour. She doesn't find anything funny. Like, she doesn't have a real yeah. good sense of humour. And, she, she's watching this now she's, oh she's definitely watching she'll kill me because there was one week I actually said I came home from uni and I goes I came home from uni and you know you're not wanted at home anymore because she had mints and spuds on oh, and, I, uh, and I said on camera and by fuck next week mints and spuds every day of the week yeah brutal, it's <laughs> brutal. yeah on that note mints and spuds are good for you get them down yet and yeah we'll see you all again very very soon good luck cheers cheers Tony <laughs>